Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to those of you who are new here, welcome. So today I'm gonna give you my review and a comparison of two similar products. One is fairly cheap and then the other one is quite pricey. These two products are actually quite hyped at the moment amongst YouTubers and today we are going to find out which one actually is much better. So I'm talking about these two products here. One is just regular transparent bar of soap and then the other one is called Soap Brows from West Barn Company. So I went ahead and opened them up and just for a quick comparison between these two in terms of their prices, I got these two for three or four euros, almost four euros, and it comes with two bars of soap in there. Whereas this one, you only get this tiny bit amount of product in there with a spoolie, and I got it for 14, 75 euros. So clearly, you can clearly tell a difference between their prices. So I'm going to be applying them two products on my brows. Um, on my left here, I'm going to use this transparent bar of soap. And on my right, I'm going to use this soap brows from West Barn Company. So if you guys want to know which one is actually much better, which one is actually worth it, and if you want to see me how I achieve that feathery, bushy type of brows, then just keep on watching. So first, of course, we're going to start off with a clean brows and I'm going to go ahead with a pear bar on my left brows. Just quickly showing you guys here what tools we are going to use. So just some spoolies and any setting spray that you have will be just fine. First, you want to spray some setting spray on your preferred spoolie and then simply rub it off onto the soap just like so. So you really want to get that soap cling into the spoolie and ensure that you get those white stuff from the soap for much easier application. And then take all the excess out before going into the brows. Now apply them on just like so and make sure that you're actually putting a little bit of pressure and pressing the product onto your skin. So this is the technique here guys, making sure that the eyebrow is actually sticking onto the skin and the more product we use, the easier it is to apply. Now depending on your desired position of your brows, I personally like it kind of like slanted and not really upright, if that makes sense. So I went again and got some more of the soap and this time I'm actually pressing it more harder and again making sure that my desired shape is actually achieved. I'm now using my clean spoolie and the purpose of this is just I'm basically cleaning the brows and taking those excess out or the white stuff from the soap that's sticking on my brows. Going back to the other spoolie, I'm basically just hitting just the top bit of my brows and then gently brushing it to this direction, just like so. I personally like my brows looking like this. So now moving on to the soap brows, I'm using the same spoolie that I used with the pear soap, but of course I gave it a wash initially. And just like what we did earlier, spray some setting spray onto the spoolie and then rub it onto the product. Take the excess out and then apply. What I'm doing here is pretty much exactly the same with what I did earlier when I was applying the pear's soap. By the way guys, the reason why I chose this pulley is because the bristles are more compact and short and it is totally a lot easier to apply the soap with these. 
You can use any type of spoolie that you want, of course, but this is just my personal preference. So this is the spoolie that came with the soap brows. Again, I'm just using this for cleanup purposes. And again, just doing this step here for this brows and we're almost done. And here are my feathery, bushy brows guys. So this is the finished look guys you can see and I'm just actually aiming for the fresh kind of look or natural looking so you can still see some of my imperfections peeking through. So let's talk about the brows here guys as you can see I have the feathery bougie type of brows going on there and just to refresh your memory I use the soap brows in this brow and then on the other side I use the pears soap bar. So in terms of the outcome you guys and I don't see really that much of a difference although this one here looks kind of dark than this one. Maybe I have more hair in this brow than the other brow. But other than that, I don't see that much of a difference, basically at least. Now I did get changed guys as you can see because I'm just more comfortable wearing this one. So let's continue. So during the application process guys, I did notice a huge difference between the two. And both acted differently. And what I mean by that is when I was applying this Pears Transparent Pair of Soap, I needed to kind of like actually take all the excess out first before actually going onto the brow and that's because this is a soap guys it's not really meant for the brows obviously so of course gonna give you or leave you that um, white excess whereas this one actually gave me the opposite impression and again what I mean by that is when I was applying it onto the brows I didn't really have to take all the excess out because it didn't leave me that white excess or residuals on the brows and obviously because this is a soap brows you guys it's meant for the brows so also i have to mention guys that when i was using this uh, soap brows i needed to put a lot of product into my brows before i could actually achieve the desired look that i was aiming for and i didn't have that problem with the pears transparent pair of soap so that's another difference between the two so let me know which one you guys actually prefer either the pears one or the soap brows because for me personally, I'd actually prefer the Paris one, not only because it's three times cheaper than the soap brows, but also it does the job anyway. You know what I mean? Um, it gave me the feathery, bushy type of brows, and why would I want to go for an expensive item when there's a cheaper version of it? So the only downside that I could think of about this product is when during the application, it will obviously leave you that you know white excess on the brows. Again, this is a soap guys, it's not really meant for the brows, so that's actually meant to happen. So with the soap brows guys, yes it does the job, it came with this container, it came with this spoolie, and I probably wouldn't know that this is an expensive one if I didn't know about the Paris product. And I ended up using a different type of spoolie, I didn't use this one, so that's another reason why I prefer the, uh, the Paris one. So again, let me know which one you guys actually prefer and leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Share it to your friends and to your loved ones. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.